Live from Case at 12. Good morning, San Antonio starts right now. Good morning and happy Black Friday. It is Friday. It is November 25th. Thank you so much for joining us. We know so many people probably still in bed, to be honest. And if I could, I would too. <laughs> uh, the weather just kind of calls for it. It's the weather. It's a tryptophan from the turkey. How was Thanksgiving, by the way? It was so good. I went down to Corpus Christi to see my family. Um, Max was <laughs> I want to. <laughs> Max was eating pie during the commercial breaks so during the early GMS. I tweeted out 5:03 a.m. I've officially decided to tweet or to eat pie, and you know that's a testament to KSAT making sure we're all we're all prepared for breakfast of champions here. I watched Max eat a whole like pecan mini pie. <laughs> In two minutes, it was Mike delicious. Osterhage. And he loved it, though. It was so good. Speaking of eating, you had the video yesterday of you making... Oh, the tamales. Tamales. Yes, and I did that with my It looked family. like you made about 80 dozen of my them. My mother-in-law made 10 pounds of masa. <laughs> 10 pounds of masa. And I was like, why are we feeding so many people? You know, it's <laughs> weird. I came to the station today, and I didn't notice any tamales I, in I the break room. Max would have loved a tamale with his pecan pie. Would have been phenomenal. Okay, well maybe maybe you'll get it. Yeah, you yeah. Sound, sound real confident <laughs> maybe with that. Maybe you'll get a, one. a dozen or two. If you are heading on out, uh, actually the the weather's kind of cooperating uh, for the first portion of the day. Things have kind of been moved back a little bit as far as some of that uh, the widespread heavy rain. We're at 58 degrees right now and that dew points at 54. So these numbers are actually down slightly from even earlier this morning. Obviously down quite a bit. It's nowhere near as humid as what it was yesterday. Temperatures are just going to make this slow decline throughout the rest of today. And uh, throughout, uh, well, first of all, the aquifer did go up another two tenths of a foot in the past 24 hours. Don't have an updated uh, allergen count yet, but uh, from yesterday's reading, mold was on the moderate side. All right, take a look at radar. And yes, we have and do still have a few uh, light little showers around the area as of right now. It's really not a heck of a lot. The other thing to take note of is everything is sliding up to the north right now. So it's not moving, obviously, to the east. And so a lot of this is just going to be sort of staying out in the western counties throughout a good chunk of the day. We obviously have a few more of these uh, these little showers that are now starting to invade portions of Bear County right now, but right there around Medina Lake, Hondo, a couple of these light showers cutting right across 35. And like I said, then again, here in town, we do have a couple of these showers right here uh, in the southern portion, just inside 1604 in the south side of Bear County, a few of them around Poteet as well. But, you know, when you look at the big picture of things, it's not really, there's not a whole heck of a lot. And this is moving up to the north because there's a big low off to the west still, and that thing is spinning in a counterclockwise direction. So this is on the, the front side of that. And as that moves in closer later on today, that's when we're going to see more widespread heavy rain. 58 here in town low 50s in the hill country. Again, the humidity has dropped down considerably from uh, where it was yesterday, thanks to wind out of the northeast. 10, 15 miles per hour on average, and we do have some pretty good gusts already. 20 at the airport, 26 in New Braunfels, 18 in Bulverde, and it is going to be breezy throughout the rest of today. So again, temperatures will continue to sort of do that slow, steady decline throughout the rest of today. We'll have a few scattered showers around here, filling in somewhat, and then by dinner time and going into this evening is when we're going to start to see more of that more widespread heavy rain. That will extend overnight into the first part of the day tomorrow, and like I said, it is going to be on the windy side. After we get rid of that rain tomorrow early, we've got a great looking weekend forecast. Those details coming up in just a couple of minutes. Sarah, Max. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Let's take a look at today's 9 at 9. The latest in the deadly Walmart shooting in Virginia. Police identifying the gunman as 31-year-old Andre Bing, a store manager who allegedly walked into the break room and opened fire on his coworkers before shooting himself. Authorities continue to investigate a motive. They are expected to release more information later today. Adidas now launching an investigation into allegations of misconduct against the rapper formerly known as Kanye West after a private letter from Yeezy employees stating that West created a toxic and chaotic work environment. Adidas released a statement saying, quote, it is currently not clear whether the accusations made in an anonymous letter are true. Nurses across the United Kingdom are staging a nationwide protest for the first time in history. This protest set for December 15th and December 20th. In a statement from the Royal College of Nursing, the strike is due to low pay and unsafe staffing levels. 
According to the RCN, 25,000 nursing staff in the UK left the nursing and midwifery council register in just the last year. E-commerce giant Amazon facing protests and strikes across the globe amid the busy sales of Black Friday. Thousands of warehouse workers upset over pay and conditions are planning walkouts and demonstrations in roughly 40 countries. Amazon spokesman David Nierberg said the company is not perfect, but that it takes their role very seriously. The Wall Street Journal reports inflation is driving Americans to spend less this Black Friday. Credit card balances have returned to pre-pandemic levels as the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates and made it more expensive to carry those balances. Holiday travel this year is seeing a big increase in numbers. TSA screened more than 9.5 million passengers since Sunday. That's back to near pre-pandemic levels. Some airports are passing those numbers. Despite high gas prices, nearly 49 million Americans hit the roads this year for Thanksgiving. Throughout the United States, the pandemic has caused several airlines to stop flying to smaller locations. That means for passengers, they could see higher fares, scheduling complications, more layovers, and longer drives to a larger airport. Since the start of the pandemic, American Airlines dropped 15 airports and Delta has dropped 10. And in China, for the second day running now, another record for the highest local daily infections of COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic has been set. According to health authorities, more than 32,695 infections are reported on Thursday. A national shortage of veterinarians and veterinary technicians is being seen across our country. Appointment problems started during the pandemic, but it's gotten worse as the demand for pet health care services continues to increase. There's a projected 15,000 veterinarian shortage by 2030. And that's today's Not Enough. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. They're in the midst of their annual St. Jude Thanks and Giving Holiday campaign. It helps raise funds for cancer patients and their families, and it does it all through online and in-store donations. So this year, the campaign is being joined by celebrities like Sofia Vergara, Michael Strahan, and Grammy Award winner Luis Fonzi. He has been a part of St. Jude Thanks to give the and Giving campaign for the past 15 years and tells St. Jude's why he takes part in the campaign every year. And it's just such an amazing place. It, it, it really is. And when you think of a hospital and you think of a children's hospital and, and you put amazing next to it, it doesn't it's sort of like what, what, you know, it's a hospital, but it really is um, from the colors of the wall, from just the, the sort of the hope that you breathe. Um, and that's and, and that's when you see it's it's worth it. It's worth it. No children should ever die of cancer. And I think it's a fight that we have to keep on fighting. Um, we have to do more research. And, and the only way to do it is um, through donations. So that's why campaigns like Thanks and Giving are so important. So a cancer survivor who goes by Rinaldo has a message for those battling the disease. Say that everything is possible. So just keep fighting because everything is possible and you are going to make it and you're going to be okay with love and everyone around you. And you can step up and help out right now. You can make donations. Just head to stjudes.org. Well, it's been six months and 21 people were killed inside Robb Elementary in Uvalde. Since then, families and loved ones have fought for accountability and change. And behind them is a core group. The group calls themselves KARMA. It's an acronym that stands for Keep All Righteous Minds Aware. KARMA has been a constant presence at school board and city council meetings. They're fighting to raise the standards for police in Uvalde, make schools and parks safe, and make the community an overall better place. Our main focus now has been uh, the children of Rob and the families in the community and how we can raise the standards. The inactions of these officers, none of them should have badges. There, there is no excuse. So on December 2nd at 7 p.m., KSAT 12 is actually having a special, a look back at the last six months in Uvalde. We're honoring the 21 lives that were taken. We hope you'll tune in and join us. Today's morning headlines, a baby born at a McDonald's, the recent images of the moon from NASA and a 
French Bulldog named this year's National Dog Show winner. Plus a Christmas album from the Pentatonix. But first, starting with a story from McDonald's in Georgia. Now take a look. Employees at this McDonald's in Georgia serving up way more than just fast food on Wednesday. Without much warning, they went beyond their call of duty, giving a mother in labor something more valuable than any Happy Meal. Just before 10 a.m. Wednesday morning, this McDonald's restroom quickly turned into a delivery room. McDonald's acting general manager Tunisia Woodward, along with two other employees and Worthy's fiance, DeAndre Phillips, they went to work just 15 minutes and three pushes later, Nandi Araya Moremi Phillips was born. A beautiful seven pounds, nine ounces. Winston, the French Bulldog, is quite popular today after the K-9 came out with the top spot at the 21st Annual National Dog Show presented by Purina. He is the first French Bulldog to win the honor, beating out hundreds of other dogs for Thursday's prize. According to show host John O'Hurley, Winston and his handler Perry Payson have, quote, cornered the market on energy, enthusiasm, and just pure spunk. Last year's event also had a historic moment as Claire, a Scottish Deerhound, became the first competitor to win the top award in consecutive years. And take a look. NASA releasing new pictures of the moon taken Monday by the Orion capsule during its closest approach to the moon. It's about 80 miles above the lunar surface. Orion is part of the Artemis 1 mission, a 25 and a half day journey that will take Orion more than 40,000 miles beyond the far side of the moon. If Orion completes its trek beyond the moon and back to Earth, it'll be the furthest a spacecraft intended to carry humans has ever traveled. And the hope is to one day pave a route to Mars. The Orion capsule is expected to return to Earth December 11th. Well, it's time for Christmas music as we approach December. That's a little bit from Pentatonic's latest album of the holiday music. It's called Holidays Around the World. This will be the group's sixth album, Pentatonic's A Christmas Spectacular Concert Tour is underway now with upcoming shows in Lincoln, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Green Bay, and so much more. The album is available to listen on Spotify and Apple Music. You know how I know Christmas is right around the corner? Oh. I had Mariah Carey stuck in my head this morning. Did you watch her on the parade yesterday? I did. Mike has Mike some did. thoughts. Oh, he has some thoughts. Oh, my god. Can't goodness. wait. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we don't say those on air. Time now, <laughs> 9, 10, 57 degrees out. Coming up on GMSA at 9, a look at a new game making its way onto streaming platforms. What makes this game so different and why has a lot of people talking? A local school district is developing a new program for students who are interested in the aerospace industry, how students are preparing and what they're looking forward to the most next. Good morning and welcome back. A new Magna program at NEISD will prepare students with skills for high demand careers in the aerospace industry. Very cool. Tiffany Huerta shows us how courses like these are inspiring students and providing various opportunities. We have built rockets that are really small to proper rockets that are about half my height. Keenan Archer is part of the Kruger School of Applied Technologies, a middle school magnet program in Northeast ISD. Along the way, we have learned how to properly present to a large crowd and how to really do all the equations and math stuff for aerospace. Next year, this program is combining with another one at Roosevelt High School to create the Space and Engineering Technologies Academy, or CETA. The 6th through 12th program centers around the aerospace industry. Here at the middle school level and the high school level, we've been doing things like robotics and launching rockets. Um, and we just wanted to kind of create streamlined pathways that would allow students to be prepared for both college and or career upon graduation. Students who participate in the CETA program can go into different pathways including manufacturing. Here, students are learning different skills that will help them build things like rockets. 
really what we're trying to do is prepare students for jobs that may not even exist yet today. So trying to prepare students, uh, give them the skills and the critical thinking skills that are needed in order to be successful in whatever their career may be with an emphasis on STEM and aerospace engineering. Applications are open now through February. We're looking for students who are curious and who want to be out of the box thinkers and problem solvers. Keenan says these courses have inspired him and he has big dreams. I plan on trying to get a job with NASA or SpaceX. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. That is awesome. So Mike, yep. is today a good day to launch some rockets? Yeah. A little windy out there. Okay. So we were just talking about I was talking about how as a kid we launched little, you know, SD's rockets and everything like that, but if it was too windy and the parachute came out, you know, or it took off, you were going five, six blocks over trying to find that <laughs> thing in the bushes somewhere. But uh, it, we don't have a lot of rain right now. Mm -hmm. There is some. Take a rain jacket with you. It is going to start to work its way on in here as we get into dinner Ooh. time and tonight. So, yeah, we've got the Christmas tree lighting, the Christmas parade, a lot going on. So um, just be on the lookout for that. And it is chilly out there. It's not bone chilling, but cold enough. So a lot of gray skies. Not going to see any sunshine until tomorrow. Here's what's going on on radar as of right now. And again, we've got these few little uh, showers that are primarily covering a good chunk of Bandera County, sliding up into Kerr County, and then further on down to the south. A couple of them here in town right now as well, just on the uh, southwest side. Those are kind of sliding either to the north or almost a little bit west of uh, directly up to the north. And again, to point out that, first of all, there's not a lot out there as of right now, and all of this sliding up to the north is kind of the leading edge of what's coming on in here later on with that big low out there. We do have, like I said, pretty good breeze, 10, 15 mile per hour winds, and then we do have gusts, 26 in New Braunfels, 20 out there at the uh, airport right now, and that northeasterly wind has pulled in the drier air because remember yesterday morning we started off with all that fog and the humidity really shot up quickly. Now with that front that moved on through here, that has pulled in this drier air. So dew point temperatures are down uh, 6, 10, almost 15 degrees compared to this time yesterday. So it is more comfortable. All right, here's the uh, rapid update computer model and of course, there are going to be a few little scattered showers here, but main thing to take away from this is the fact that a lot of the more widespread rain is going to be off to the west, and we will have some along the coastal plain as well pulling on in here, but this is going to be the situation throughout a good chunk of the day, and then as we, like I said, going to dinner time, it's going to start to fill in more into the evening hours and later on tonight, some of the heavy rain. So things have slowed down somewhat from what it has looked like even yesterday and then even a couple of days ago, you know, earlier on in the week, it looked like it was going to be just rain early on Thanksgiving and then clearing on out. Then it, everything started to slow down a little bit and it slowed down even more. So even a lot of the, the heavier rain may actually wait till later on this evening. So we will have some showers around tonight, but the more widespread heavy stuff is going to be in the overnight hours and then starting off early tomorrow and especially in some of our eastern counties. And that will get on out of here and we've got a good looking day tomorrow. It's going to be windy today. As I mentioned, it's also going to be windy tomorrow. As far as rainfall totals, um, half an inch, maybe up to an inch of rain in town, more off to the north, more off to the east, lesser amounts down to the, the southwest, down there on 35, right around uh, Catula. So here's what's going on. There's the, the upper low, and yes, it is producing a whole bunch of snow there in southern New Mexico, as well as the western part of the state. And this is the same one that was up in the Gulf of Alaska a couple of days ago, and it worked its way into the United States, down the Rocky Martin, Mountains, and then has parked off there to the west, and it's just sort of sitting there and so as it continues or starts its movement up to the northeast that's when it pulls in all of this heavier rain and that's going to be like I said in the overnight hours and then it gets on out of here then we clear on out and so that sets us up for a really good looking weekend tomorrow afternoon and well, actually late morning tomorrow and then going into Sunday 58 degrees today not the prettiest of days if you are out shopping, take a take a jacket with you, take an umbrella, but it's not going to be that real heavy stuff throughout the day today. So that's working in our favor as far as all the shoppers. Now tonight, yes, there will be some showers around for the Christmas tree lighting, the uh, the Christmas parade on the river, 57 degrees, and that's going to be later on this afternoon. 
Then we drop into the 50s throughout the day or throughout the evening, the lower 50s and drop down to 47 tomorrow morning. It is going to be windy tomorrow. We got that rain starting off 64 in the afternoon. Then with the clear skies and the wind subsiding down to 45 starting off Sunday morning. So it's going to be a chilly start, but then a huge warm up. So a lot of dry air in place. We gain 30 degrees throughout the course of the day. 48 starting off on Monday on back to school Monday up to 75. So again, a jacket in the morning don't need it in the afternoon. Humidity comes back in here then Tuesday. And so we're going to be it's going to be kind of hot and humid on Tuesday. A lot of folks get up into the low 80s. Now the front moves on through here and that's going to then knock temperatures back down, get rid of some of the humidity middle of the week. Man, people's allergies. All I mean, here's the, the thing, Mike, we're ready. Our faces are protected from the cold. Indeed. Yes, indeed. So, as you know, Thanksgiving is over, uh, but our team here at KSAT, we are still growing our beard strong because it is all for such a good cause. Yep. That's right, and I'm actually proud of you, Max, because last week you were like, what, in the 600s? Yeah, I don't know. And our viewers really stepped it up, and they donated. I'm proud of our viewers, not proud of me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, take a look at our leaderboard. Can we have that? Is that Let's see. Uh, first, we, we well. First off, we want to mention that it's not just people who are at the desk. Right. A lot of our photographers and people who work behind the scenes, they all have great reasons why they are participating in No Shave November. Like one of our photog extraordinaires, Kenny. I participated again this year in honor of my mom, who uh, it will be six years later in November that she passed away due to cancer. So I know uh, most people have had their family or friends impacted with cancer. So I just figure any little bit will help in funding cancer research. If you can donate, please do. Thanks. Thank you, Kenny. Kenny was, Max and I worked with Kenny on the weekends. Oh, Kenny's the best. <laughs> He's he awesome. He one of the best reasons to help try to raise as many funds as possible. All right, so here it is. Max Massey knocking down Mark Austin. He was at two. Justin Horn's also up there. 13, were you at 1330 this morning? Or well, let's, uh, let's give Mike Osterhage all the credit in the world. No, let's give the viewers Wait, all the credit. Wait, hold on. Right. Our producer Obviously. is saying there's an update. What's the update, oh, Caitlin? Uh -oh. <gasps> okay, breaking ah, news. Okay. Max Massey now in second place. No, at no, no. $16 under Justin Horn. Oh, I thought yeah. she because said. Because 1490 is less than 1506. Oh, I didn't yeah, hear 1506. So Justin's up yeah. Which, I mean... Think about it. That is just absolutely wonderful. So that puts us, I think, well over fourteen thousand dollars now. Right. The goal has been twenty, and we've got a few more days. If you can donate, and there's about thirteen different organizations that we have all picked. There's roughly fifteen of us participating. Is anyone going to beat Mike? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I want to put the QR code on the screen right now. And the important part is that it's the cause. Yes, yep. the competition makes it fun and friendly. But at the end of the day, we are trying to help right. so many families battling such a, a terrible situation. So pull out the camera, scan the QR code. It'll take you right to casestat.com slash no shave. And there you can donate to the team in its entirety or whoever you'd like to. Okay, I personally. really don't want to say this out loud, but okay. you told me this morning. You didn't even hear. Oh, goodness. What did you say that, who did you say Max looked like with his beard? This is terrifying. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> a hot seat. No, it's, I, didn't want, I didn't want you to hear because I didn't want your head to get too mm. big. Look at the camera. Look right at the camera, Max. <laughs> He's so the, uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. <laughs> the, act, the actor. Oh, we're swinging three around. There we go. Oh, goodness. Look, look right into our viewers' oh, eyes. Oh my goodness, we got to talk about a placid duck coming up. <laughs> so we got to make this. Uh, there it is. Hello. Okay, the so the actor that plays Captain America. What's is, his name? Um, I was not ready for this. Oh my gosh, yeah, hold no, on. Why am I blanking um, on his? Why am I blanking on his name? He just got sexiest man alive this year. <laughs> the oh, compliments right. keep on coming. What, All what right. Is, what is it? Mike, thank you for the phenomenal compliment. Chris, Chris Evans, Evans, thank yes. you. Thank Chris you. Evans. He resembles Chris Evans with the beard. As much time as I know we've taken up, we still have a lot more to come here on GMSA. I GMSI. can hear the donations coming in right now. Ching, ching, it. ching, ching. What are you coming up? All right, coming up again. You know what we should say is Chris Evans looks like Max Massey. There you go. Who was sexiest man alive? Just putting that out there. All right, coming up next, a game consisting of just watching ducks in a pool. Oh. All right, we're going to tell you why it's so popular. Good morning and welcome back. So a new way of gaming is making its rounds on streaming platforms. And as entertaining as this might seem, it consists of just watching, just watching plastic ducks in a pool. 
I mean, how bored are we? <laughs> Rick Damagella explains how this is a real thing. No, we aren't kidding you with this story. This game is Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. The gameplay consists of simply watching plastic ducks in a pool. Twitch streamer Vinny Vinesauce recently featured the game. I was surprised at how well made the game was. It's just a game about ducks and they drop into a pool and you collect them. Chat, another duck just dropped. It's just a really weirdly meditative, fun game. And it's kind of like it scratches the itch to collect something. And it just so happens to be ducks. And I'm all for that. It's fun to see them get like into the little pool. There's an exclusive VIP duck pool. Make no mistake. The question is, will the water pull the duck into the slide or does it have to be like perfect? Oh man, oh man, oh man. Yes, yes! My chat was like going crazy. You had like 8,000 people in unison going absolutely crazy for this cool duck that just went into a VIP area. And now we have to get this duck back up to the pool with its friends. I figured five minutes would be enough to see everything you need to see. And yet people were egging me on like, Vinny, no, keep playing this. Leave it on in the background while you play other games. We want to see the ducks. So I was entertained. Chat was entertained. Gene. This is Gene, the metal kiss duck. You have to wonder who would spend their money and time making a game like this, a duck aficionado a rubber duck aficionado, but then you kind of get into it and it's like, oh, this is just someone who likes neat stuff. I mean, I'm all for multiple ducks. I need as many ducks as I can. Quacking up in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. I still don't understand. Like, do you move the duck? I think the duck just moves and hopefully it gets to the VIP area. I don't know, the, the gene duck? The gene, yeah, the gene duck. And then duck, it's too much. I don't know, I stand with uh, Vinnie Vines. I guess so. All right. I don't know. I'm say. still, I'm very confused. Five minutes was a little too much time. All right, time now, 9.30, 57 degrees out. More ahead on GMSA at nine, still ahead. We hear from some shoppers today during some Black Friday sales and what deals they were able to find. And a lot of people out there looking for those deals this morning. The sun is out now. Not too many people out on the roadways. We do know that this time of year is one of the most traveled on the roads and in the skies. If anything does pop up, we'll let you know. Black Friday's long store lines are now a thing of the past. I don't know. We saw a bunch of lines this morning at Best Buy. A lot of major retailers, though, they're stepping away from door busting deals and they're actually spreading their sales throughout the month or even throughout the weekend. So last year, many shoppers were rushing to the stores to get their hands on hard to find items with supply chain issues to blame. But this year, the rising cost of gas, groceries and energy as shoppers reluctant to spend a lot of money this Black Friday. Interesting. So here's a fun fact. The National Retail Federation estimates that holiday sales growth is down 14 percent from last year, nearly only 6 percent this year. Now, a couple of shoppers at Best Buy, they tell us about all the deals that they were able to find this morning. If you get the right thing, right? If you're looking for something and you're able to find it, then you have. But in general, no, there ain't like a lot of great sales. It's, it's somewhat limited. This year for sure, like online shopping is like kind of like taking over. So I guess like Cyber Monday would probably be like the most ideal time. But and don't forget tomorrow is Small Business Saturday. You can find a locally made holiday gifts and help our local small businesses. 57 degrees at 935 this morning. It's kind of been a gloomy past couple of days, Mike, so we're not planning on seeing the sun today. And if you need to do things, kind of do them now this morning, right? Yeah, it, the, the whole um, heavy rain scenario and the more widespread rain, it's now slowing down and it's been kind of slowing down over the past uh, couple of days. Yesterday, it had looked like initially that things are going to be out of there, obviously, then that kind of slow down a little bit more and we've had some rain around the area right now. We do have a couple of showers out there right now. Just uh, some light rain moving through portions of Bandera as well as Kerr County. Not really a lot, but the low, which is the the rain maker for us is still parked out there in southern New Mexico out in West Texas. That still has to kind of get up and, and move and start moving off to the northeast and that's when we'll start to see more widespread and potentially heavy rain, but that's not going to be till later 
later on oh, dinner time and then tonight we're at 58 right now low 50s in the hill country it's also kind of breezy out there 5 10 close to 15 mile per hour winds wind gust to 26 out there at new braunfels right now 17 at the airport and is going to be breezy throughout the day so we are still looking at some rain Big question is, is it going to dampen the Christmas tree lighting downtown, the parade? Then we take a look at the rest of the weekend, which looks great. We'll talk all about that in just a couple of minutes. Take a look outside with Trans Guide. OK, so earlier we didn't see a lot of people on the roads, but that's probably going to pick up today as people return home. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be busy on the roads. So take your time out there. Be careful if any incidents pop up. We will let you know about them. And then looking at some things happening today, San Antonio Animal Care Services is giving a Black Friday special for adoptions. The ACS Black Fur Day will spotlight the shelter's harder to adopt pets with a $35 adoption fee special. Pets with darker hued coats traditionally have a hard time getting adopted, so any dog with a black hue to their coat will be a, a part of the special. The shelter is open today from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. and they are located at 4710 State Highway 151. And of course, now that Thanksgiving's over, next holiday focus on Christmas. The 50-foot tree arrived last week and today is the 38th annual HEB tree lighting ceremony over there at Travis Park. It's going to be happening from 3 to 6 p.m. The lights will be turned on at 6.20 p.m. HEB will be providing free via bus rides to the event and Here's a cool thing, free ice skating from 3 to 5.30 p.m., free event, and obviously it is open to the public. And today is also the 41st Ford Holiday River Parade. The one-hour river parade will start at 6 o'clock tonight on the Riverwalk, and this year's Grand Marshal is the Grinch. This year's theme is taste and traditions around the world. So you can purchase tickets now. We have that link for you on ksat.com, but there you can also watch the parade for free various spots along the Riverwalk. All right, now to the World Cup and the huge showdown between the U.S. and England this afternoon. Here's ABC's Will Reef. This morning, just hours to go until the marquee matchup of this World Cup. The U.S. men's national team preparing to take on mighty England. Budding American star Timothy Weah telling GMA he and his team are feeling good and prepared. The vibes are high. Everyone's, everyone's excited. We're ready for the big stage. We're ready for the big moment. In their first group stage games on Monday, the U.S. tied Wales 1-1, England dominating Iran 6-2. Today, in just its third ever World Cup game against England, the U.S. is the underdog. When we step on the field against England, we have to ultimately be prepared or else a win is, is not possible. I wouldn't say there's many things out, out there that intimidate me other than spiders, so um, it's, it's, it's fine for me. U.S. fans in Qatar optimistic. It's a beautiful game, so you have to be optimistic. I've been to a lot. I'm going to say 2-1 USA. Elsewhere on the pitch yesterday, a day of highlights and history. Brazil beating Serbia 2-0. This sensational scissor kick from Brazilian striker Richarlison, the goal of the tournament so far. And Portugal defeating Ghana 3-2. Superstar Cristiano Ronaldo becoming the first man to score a goal in five different World Cups. And that was Will Reeve reporting. Huge game later this afternoon, and I know... Uh, it's a day full of well, uh, lots so of sports. Football. 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 Literally football of all types. <laughs> I'm now at 940, about 57 degrees out. You're watching GMSA at 9. The Share the Shoes campaign underway, benefiting Zapatos. Zapatos works with schools to help kids get the shoes they need. Donations are being accepted until December 16th. So it's so easy to donate and it, it's so important. You can go to any of the SAPD substations or SAPD headquarters. You walk in with new socks or shoes, you drop them off in the big box that says Share the Shoes. If you have any questions, just head to KSAT.com. All right, well, we got a lot of gray skies out there. Grab a jacket before you head out because it's chilly. Temperatures are only in the 50s right now. And yes, we do have a few uh, showers out and around the area. The uh, well, biggest area of rain, obviously, is right there in Kerr County. Everything is sliding up to the north and a few more showers a little bit further on down to the south. In and around town, um, there's not much, although on the uh, the Transguide cameras just saw one camera that had a couple little drops on it. So, yeah. 
yeah, we do have a few little light showers. If you're heading off to do some shopping over there, uh, 410 by uh, 151 heading in towards SeaWorld and 410 just to the south of 90 right there and a couple of them in and around Windcrest. But that's not obviously it's not a lot out there. Take your rain jacket, take an umbrella. It is on the breezy side as well. Winds are 10, close to 15 miles per hour, 18 sustained winds at New Braunfels and the gusts are to 25. And so it is going to be on the windy side today as well as tomorrow. So as far as temperatures, it's going to be pretty consistent, fluctuating maybe a degree or two from where they are right now. And we will continue to have just a I've, Yes, 90% chance seems like a lot, but yes, there are, is going to be some rain out there. Just some scattered light little showers uh, here and there throughout the rest of the afternoon. Then we go into dinner time and well, first of all, temperatures will be down in the mid 50s and we'll start to see the rain chances picking up and becoming more widespread as well as the intensity picking up 55 degrees tonight at 8 o'clock. So if you're heading off to the uh, Christmas tree lighting as well as the parade, yeah, take your rain gear with you and it's going to be on the chilly side. Now, looking at this computer model, obviously a few scattered showers out there. The majority of the rain kind of on the bookends down here along the coastal plain and then out there in western portions of the hill country and a few more showers. Again, it sort of fills in a little bit more as we go on into dinner time and early evening hours. And yes, we'll have some of these showers. A couple of moderate downpours as well, but then the really heavy downpours, everything is, is sort of kind of moving back as far as the timing of it. It had looked like it was going to be just widespread heavy rain. Even yesterday, it looked like that was going to be the situation today. Obviously, things are slowing down somewhat. We have some of those uh, heavier downpours then going into the overnight hours early tomorrow morning and then getting on out of here. So here's the situation. If you look at the uh, satellite and radar loop, we've got some of this light rain, uh, especially well out there to the west. There's the upper low, which is parked over there in uh, New Mexico, southern New Mexico, and right around El Paso. It almost looks like it wants to drift a little bit to the west, but what's going to happen is then it's going to get kind of caught up and work its way off to the northeast. That's when some of the uh, more widespread heavier rain comes in here, and again, that's the overnight hours. So as far as shopping today, heading on out, running errands, things like that, it's somewhat working out in our behalf as well as in toward dinner time, but it's going to be then overnight. We see some of that uh, heavier rain, so 58 degrees with some showers around, not even really uh, any thunder or any lightning is being detected right now. Could be one or two of them out there. A couple of storms are possible, but most of it is just going to be in the form of light to some moderate rain 57 by later on this afternoon. Again, temperatures are just basically going to be staying steady. Then we'll have some overnight, uh, some heavier rain overnight 47 starting off tomorrow, 64 in the afternoon. It's going to be windy again tomorrow and we get into Sunday. Cold start, 45 degrees, heading off to early church, and then 74 in the afternoon. So a nice big warm-up with that dry air. Warm Monday, nice, chilly start, hot and humid, basically, on Tuesday. And then we cool down again, another front middle of the week. I just want to make it Sunday. Sunday looks perfect. Yeah, right. well, well, sunny. Tomorrow afternoon is going to be pretty darn nice, too. That nice mid-60s, you know, light little jacket, sweater. So this weekend, if you haven't put up your... Out, outdoor Christmas decorations. It's ideal time. Yeah, tomorrow afternoon and Sunday, too. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Time now, 948, 57 degrees out. We have an update. We have an update. So after I um, I was kind of reluctant. You solicited donations on TV? Yes. I was. Well, no, I was reluctant to say <laughs> what, to repeat what Mike said about right. Max with his beard. That he looked like the sexiest man alive. Chris Evans. Oh, alive. my God. It kind of kills me. I feel like we need to <laughs> stipulate who that is. Uh, so Chris anyway, Evans is Captain America. <laughs> someone did donate in the last 20 minutes, so I am now in second Woo! place to, to only the Mike Osterhage. So thank you to... Whoever donated, we really do appreciate it. And again, we are doing this until the end of November. That is why we have the beards. I know some people have you know, reached out on social media and asked me, like, hey, are you going through something? I was like, no, 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 this is all for a good cause. It's for a good cause. And uh, the goal is $20,000. We're getting super close. We only have a couple of days left. I mean, and it, I, it's all about, we, do, we use the competition right. to raise money. That's true. And I know a lot of people out and about today looking for those Black Friday deals. Just donate to a good cause. You're helping a lot of families. So take the phone out, pull out the camera, scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you right to our No Shave page on KZ.com. There you can learn more about the various causes 
and you can learn how to donate. And it, All and I have to say is, come on, Team Silver Foxes. Hallmark, we have Hallmark Dad here. Uh. We have Mike, the quote-unquote hot Hallmark Dad, what was Stephania. It quote? No, it wasn't me. Oh. I was repeating what Stephania <laughs> called him the other day, because um, what his outfit looked like, and he said his ear was made. And now uh, Chris Evans, sexiest man alive with the beards. And he is so uncomfortable so right now. So <laughs> incredibly uncomfortable. But we have a lot more. Look oh, at hello. that. Look right into the viewers. We have a lot more coming up on GMSA. So, okay, so do we have a new competition here? Mm. Is it Team Sexiest Man versus Team Hallmark? Yes. I love that. Let's raise come, some money. Come on. All you gray haired silver foxes out there, you know who you are. Max? I mean, if we could raise more money, I'm very much down. <laughs> Captain America. Okay. <laughs> What do we have next? <laughs> All right, a sneak peek in a <laughs> Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Of course it's Fraggle Rock. Of course it's Fraggle Rock. Rock. <laughs> they have a holiday special. I'll show you that in a bit. Happy Night of the Lodge! <laughs> this is the darkest night of the year. We are going to find the brightest, most magical light in the whole world. Uncle Traveling Matt and the Fraggle Rock family go in search of some holiday magic, including visits to the silly creatures in the Fraggle Rock Back to the Rock special, Night of the Lights. I went looking for the Night of the Lights in, in, the, in the silly creature world, and it turns out that silly creatures seem to celebrate with lights as well. And the Fraggle Rock Back to the Rock holiday special is now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. The Swimmers tells the story of sisters Yisra and Sarah Mardini, who fled war-torn Syria in hopes of a better life. But Sally El Hosseini's film is also about the millions of other refugees desperately seeking safety. The audience is very much on the journey with the sisters, but then you have those moments where you step back and see the scale and understand the context of what this very specific story is set in. The Swimmers is now in theaters and on Netflix. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Taking a look outside with Trans Guide real quick. We know a lot of people are going to be traveling today, but oh. right now, that, oh, see some uh, drops on the oh. screen there. So if you are traveling today, make sure you prepare, because there's probably going to be a lot more people on the road later as people start to wake up. Um, and also prepare for the rain out there, Mike. Yeah, we've got a little bit of rain, as you saw, just a couple of drops out there on the lens as of right now. Here's a live look at the uh, radar, and, uh, you know, it, it's very, very light stuff, and that's pretty much about it, some in the hill country, and we will continue to see uh, just some light rain throughout the day. Everything's been kind of uh, moved back as far as the timing of it. Temperatures are in the 50s. We've got a decent breeze out there. It's going to be windy today, and we'll start to see then more widespread, heavier rain, especially dinner time going into the season evening into tonight, I should say, and uh, we'll have more heavy rain overnight as well. Some of those pockets, then it's going to be clearing on out and we'll see a lot of sunshine tomorrow. And Max is especially looking forward to Sunday, a 30 degree rise I in temperatures. love San Antonio for so many reasons, but one of those reasons is we have the middle of November, I guess the end of November, 74 and sunny. Well, I talked to family and friends on the East Coast who are just, you know, miserable dealing with the snow. Mm-hmm. So 10 degrees above guy. normal by Tuesday. It's kind of humid. Then another front moves on through here. So Okay. All right. Hopefully I can find a chair for the next time I'm with these guys. We, so. uh, we have <laughs> a little bit of time left, so Thanksgiving officially over. Have you guys started plotting the, uh, the Christmas decorations? They're done. They're done? All inside out. Done. Oh. Outdoors done. Okay. Tree is going up since the boys are here either today or tomorrow. Oh, putting them to work. Mm -hmm. Good Smart. dad. Have a great rest of your day.